Hello, good evening. Thank you for tuning in to Palm Praise 2. I am going to share with you information from the extraordinary African Americans uh, written by Susan Altman. We're going to talk about Lucy Terry Smith, which was born 1733 to 1821. The Bars Fight. Now, this poem describes a Native American attack on Deerfield, Massachusetts, a small settlement on the western border of the Massachusetts Bay Colony. Written by Lucy Terry, a 16-year-old slave girl, the poem is considered to be the best description of the account on record. The attack occurred in 1746, not long before the French and Indian War, 1754-1763. Although Terry's poem describing the massacre was not published until 1855, it was a favorite in a colonial New England. It was read often at town meetings and on various social occasions. Now, the event Terry describes in her poem are not too far from some of those in her own life. She was kidnapped from her home in Africa when she was only five and sold to a family in Deerfield where she grew up. There she met and married Mr. Prince, an ex-slave who had gained his freedom after serving in the French and Indian War. Now, shortly after they were married, Mr. Prince purchased Lucy's freedom in 1756, and the two of them moved to a farm in Guilford, Vermont. Eventually, they had six children, two of whom fought in the Revolutionary War, 1775 to 1783. Mr. Prince also became one of the 55 original founders of the town of Sunderland in Vermont. Now, two years after the Revolution, a wealthy neighbor tried to force the princes off their land. Now, Mr. Prince was almost 80 years old, so Lucy, 25 years younger than her husband, rode across Vermont to seek the aid of the governor's council. Fortunately, the council sided with the princes and ordered the neighbor to leave them alone. In 1794, Mr. Prince died. For the next 18 years, Lucy rode horseback over the mountains to visit his grave, when yet another neighbor tried to claim her property. She fought back this time taking her case all the way to the Vermont Supreme Court. And after ruling in her favor, the judge told her that she had made one of the most convincing arguments he had ever heard. Lucy, go on with your bad self. Now, Lucy Terry Prince, America's first poet of African descent, died in 1821 at the age of 88. The remarkable 16-year-old girl who had written The Bar's Fight turned out to be a courageous fighter herself. Now here is The Bar's Fight. August 12th to 25th, 1746. The Indians did in ambush lay some very valiant men to slay. T'was night unto Sam Dickinson's mill. The Indians there five men did kill. The names of whom I'll not leave out. Samuel Allen, like a hero, fought. And thought he was so brave and bold, His face no more shall we behold. Eliezer Hawks was killed outright Before he had time to fight. Before he did, the Indian sea was shot and killed immediately. Oliver Ampson, he was slain, Which caused his friends much grief and pain. Simeon Amson they found dead, not many rods off from his head. Abonijah Gillard, we do hear, did lose his life, which was so dear. John Sadler fled across the water and so escaped the dreadful slaughter. Eunice Allen see the Indians coming and hoped to save herself by running. And had not her petticoat stopped her, the awful creatures had not caught her. And Tommy Hawks her on the head and left her on the ground for dead. Young Samuel Allen, oh, like a day, was taken and carried to Canada. Thank you. Please subscribe and tune in again to Poem Praise 2. All right. Talk to you later. Goodbye.